Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to back up your Windows operating system and all of your important files. In this video, I'm going to show you multiple ways to back up your files, including using cloud services, local storage, and also how to create a system recovery drive. Microsoft provide a product called OneDrive. OneDrive allows you to not only use the Office applications online, but it allows you to store all your files in the cloud. Now, the cloud has become a buzzword in recent years, but it essentially means all your files are stored on Microsoft servers anywhere around the world, and they're available everywhere. So if you back up your files to OneDrive, then you can be sure that they're safe from deletion. You can set up OneDrive to back up your documents, your pictures, and your desktop folders. This means that any files that get amended or added to those folders will automatically be synced to the cloud. Whilst OneDrive is useful for Windows, it isn't as useful when using Linux. For this reason, you might want to choose Google's Drive service. You will need a Google account to use the Google Drive service. After that, you can go to google.com forward slash drive forward slash download to download the installer. Installing Google Drive is as simple as running the installer, choosing whether you want desktop shortcuts or not, and then clicking the install button. When you run the app, you'll be asked to sign into your Google account and authorize that you want to give it access to run Google Drive. To back up files to the Google Drive account, open Windows Explorer, navigate to the folders that you want to back up, right click, select copy, then right click on the folder within Google Drive, and then click paste. The files will automatically sync up to Google Drive. As you can see, you can use OneDrive and Google Drive simultaneously. This gives you a double layer of protection so that you're almost guaranteed that your files won't get lost. Another service you might consider if you don't want to use Microsoft and you don't want to use Google is Dropbox. You will need to sign up for an account to use Dropbox. You can then download an installer, and this will enable you to install Dropbox to use locally on your Windows PC. After you've downloaded the app, run the installer, and then sign in with your Dropbox credentials. The free version of Dropbox only allows you to sync locally. What that means is your files are stored locally, and then you sync from your files up into the cloud, whereas the Dropbox Plus service allows you to sync to the cloud without having the files stored on your computer in the first place. With Dropbox, you can choose which folders are backed up. So uh, by default, you get your desktop, your documents, and your downloads folder. Or you can click on the Modify Folders selection and then choose the folders that you want to back up. If you so wish, you don't actually have to use the Backup Wizard at all. You can use the Windows Explorer and drag and drop the files into the Dropbox folder, as you did with Google Drive. So we've covered online backups or cloud backups as they are known, but you might also want to back up locally to an external hard drive. And that's what I'm going to show you now. Click the start button and then type backup settings and then click the icon when it appears. Under the backup using file history, click on the more options button. Now click on advanced settings. File history backups will back up files over a set period. So as you can see, you can choose every hour, you can choose every 15 minutes, you can choose every day. It really depends on how important your files are and how often those files are likely to change. If there are files that you know you don't want to back up in certain folders, then click on exclude folders and you can add the folders that you don't want to back up. To start file history backups, simply click the turn on button. You can find the file history backups within Windows Explorer. Simply open Windows Explorer, navigate to the backup drive, and then go to the file history folder. Another way to backup your files is to use system image backup. This software originates from Windows 7, and it is likely to be replaced in the future, but it still works in Windows 10. Click system image backup, and then click up set up backup. You can now choose the drive that you want to backup the files to. You can also choose the folders that you want to back up. Whilst this is the older version of the backup tool, I prefer it because it allows you to choose the folders you want to back up to, and this is far more obvious than the other methods. Another thing you might want to do is create a system image. 
a system image will create a complete copy of an entire partition or partitions. This means you can recover to a complete point in time simply by restoring that system image. Click the create a system image link and then click on the drive that you want to back up the system image to. A screen will appear showing you the partitions that will be backed up as part of the system image. When you are ready, just click the start to backup button. Be aware that the system image can take quite a long time to create, but it's well worth it if you want to recover all of your files and your operating system at the same time. I'm now going to show you how to create a recovery drive. This is important if you want to reinstall Windows in the future. Press the Windows Start button and then type in Recovery Drive and click on the icon when it appears. You will need to insert a blank USB drive and it needs to be at least 16GB in size as it has to store all the Windows system files required to not only boot a recovery drive but also reinstall Windows. Make sure there is a tick in the Backup System Files to the Recovery Drive checkbox. The creation of a recovery drive can take a number of hours to complete but it is worth it if you want to get your Windows back in the future. In this video, I've shown you many ways to back up your files, whether it's to cloud services such as Google or Microsoft, or whether it's to local hard drives. I've also shown you how to create a recovery drive so you can get Windows back if you want to in the future. Whichever method you choose to back up your files, make sure that the backup has worked correctly before proceeding with anything such as installing Linux or doing anything drastic on your computer. Whilst backing up your computer isn't the most exciting task in the world, it is very important. If you don't want to lose all those family photos, or your important documents, or your music, or your videos, then it's very worthwhile making the effort to back up your drive, whether or not you're going to install Linux or not. It is also important to create a recovery drive so that you can get your operating system back. It is also important to check the backups to make sure that they've worked correctly. There's nothing worse than thinking that you've backed something up only to find out that the drive that you backed up to was corrupted or that the files hadn't synced properly to an online service. Remember, if the backups don't work correctly, then you will lose your data. If you like this video, click the like button and also click the subscribe button to see more videos from everyday Linux user in the future. Thank you for watching.